All right, this is lesson six of unit six, triangle congruence. This is kind of an intro to the next two lessons where we're going to be working a lot more with proofs and proving that triangles are congruent. This is just an intro to kind of get you used to this. So you're gonna hear me talk a lot about corresponding parts. When I say the corresponding parts of a triangle, I'm talking about the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles. So if you have two triangles, this side of one triangle is going to be corresponding to another side. This angle is going to correspond to that another angle on the other triangle. And the names of the triangles are going to help us here. you got to really pay attention to the way that they're named when you're talking about congruence. And just another definition of congruence two figures are congruent if all pairs of corresponding angles and sides are congruent. So if everything matches up and is exactly the same, then they are congruent. So just to start off, I'm telling you that triangle ABC and triangle DEF here are congruent. And what we're going to do is we're going to ident identify all the congruent corresponding parts. And this is where I, the name of the triangles really makes a difference. The way the triangle's named is how all the sides correspond and how all the angles correspond. So in the name, if we start off with the angles, in the name, A is first. In the first triangle, D is first in the second triangle. That means A and D correspond. So that means that A is going to be congruent to D. That means that B is going to be congruent to E. And F is going to be congruent to C. Let me make sure I do my proper denotions. Now, we can't just give them one little mark for congruence because we don't know what their actual measures are. All we know is that A is congruent to D, B to E, C to F. So we just assume that they're different. So they get the different marks. Now let's talk about the sides. And again we look at the name. The first AB, DE. So we know that AB and DE are congruent sides. Then we have BC and EF. So we know that BC is congruent to EF. And then finally, we have CA and FD. Those two are congruent to each other as well. And that's how you identify all the corresponding parts in two congruent triangles. In this last slide, I want you to work this through with your group, identifying all the congruent parts, and go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Okay, and here is all the parts identified as congruent. Now go ahead and pause the video again and go over this with your group to see if you guys got it right, right or not. 